Hello, today we are going to try to fix this shoot coach style stopwatch that coaches were using while training kids. You've got the ability to measure time of different labs. Very interesting device and very well built. If you take a look, it is giving that a uh, pretty high quality vibe. And yes, it is a quite known company, but it's completely dead. To be honest, I didn't buy it for a coaching reason. I've got it because I wanted something for measuring time while testing batteries, like at discharging. And because of that, it should get an extremely long run time, like leaving your iPhone with a wake-up screen to make a time-lapse is absolutely not good idea but that should survive uh, many many hours as you can see we've got a lot of tiny screws and it's giving a vibe of being a uh, nicely built most likely a uh, weatherproof We've got a piezo speaker, so it's definitely going to giving a nice beeping sound. And this is what we've got inside. We've got a crystal oscillator. We've got those buttons that are absolutely amazing because they are not the button itself. They are moving that lever and they are actually making a connection on the PCB. That's a very interesting build. Just take a look how much effort they put to create that system. Very nice. And yes, around we've got a gasket. So it is a definitely well-built machine. So the shoot company is a good one. One beautiful thing about the battery if you take a look it's locked down by a screw so if you shake it if you drop it it is not like they reuse a very generic battery holder that you can find on a computers let's see if that's going to be a generic battery that is being used on a computer Yes, yeah, CR2032. Looks like I've got a beautiful one to one replacement. Exactly the same model. Very nice attention to detail. The tab have got a polarity marker, so you know that this is going to be your positive. Very nice. For a second, I was thinking. Am I forgotten what was the correct polarity? But they think about that. We go like this. And our screw. Looks beautiful. Let's try to close it. So this is our speaker, those two springs are going to touch it. So we go like that, and now we screw it back. And to get the force evenly distributed, I'm going to screw it across the corners. Just like that, and across corners. That was the best purchase I ever made. I use it every day and each time I grab it, I know that was a well spent money. Sadly, the screw are not a metal insert. They most likely assume that you are going to replace the battery one time a year. And we've got it working. 
I managed to set the date and we've got this beautiful stopwatch phase. And let's try it out. You might get feeling that those digits are, are blurry, but it's just a polarizer that go between the LCD and depending on the angle, you can see that on the camera, but on your naked eye not. Let's imagine that I would like to make a time lapse of charging or discharging battery. I go like this and we've got a beautiful stopwatch that is not taking the battery. It does not have a backlit screen, so it can be constantly on, constantly running, constantly facing the camera. And we've got the ability to do a different lapse. So if you are running a couple of times, you just hit that button and it saves the data on top. And we are measuring the second one. So looks like it is working beautiful. And those guys were doing like that. Yeah, and the guy just started and running. And yeah, yeah, that's how it looks like. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.